Hi, my name's Warner Gibbs and I was working with Qantas since 1959 until I retired in 1990. Many years of fun. I started off in engineering, didn't like it so I transferred to cabin crew in 1961 and there I stayed until my retirement. No. My very first flight was when I was in the training school and they said to me, go home today, come back this afternoon, you're going out on a flight and report to the hangars. And I thought, well, that was a bit strange to go into the hangars. Anyhow, when I got over there, there was an engineer and he said, go home, we're not going tonight because of the weather. And I said, oh, okay. So I came back the next morning and there it was, the DC-4, or going out on the DC-4. So I said to him, oh, this will, this will be good. And he said, yeah. He said, but we're not taking off till this afternoon, so you can go home again and come back this afternoon. When I got back, there it was, two Constellation engines. One was going to be delivered to Cocos Island and one was going to Perth. And I thought, oh, well, what am I supposed to do? So he said, you just look after the crew they know what to do, when to switch the ovens on and the whole bit because the old ovens on the DC-4 were very slow. So yes, away we go and the, the captain said to me, he said, oh look, go and have a break. He said, you're probably not used to this night flying. <laughs> well, I've never flown at night so I certainly wasn't used to it. So I went and laid down and next thing I woke up and the sun streaming in the aircraft. We were landing in Darwin we're going to pick up some equipment out of Darwin. I thought, oh, blimey, I'd been off for nearly seven hours. It was a nine hour flight from Sydney to Darwin because of the headwinds. Now we pick up the gear and away we go. We finish up at Cocos Island and we drop one engine off, pick up another one because the constellations were still going to, to South Africa, to Johannesburg. And away we go and we landed at Perth in the middle of the night and uh, we were booked into a hotel there. Nobody was there in the middle of the night to greet the crew. So the second officer broke into the hotel, got in, got the sign, we all signed in, allocated ourselves a room, dropped the other engine off and then back we go next day back to Sydney. And there was a chap, the navigator, they had navigators in those days. His name was Johnny Brown. Narka was his nickname. And he said to the skipper, he said, look, I think with tailwinds, we can go from Perth to Sydney in one hit. We won't have to go into Adelaide. And the skipper said, well, whatever you think, Narka. And he said, oh, yep, we can do it. So sure enough, we were never on Shedwell once. We even landed in Sydney early because we managed to go to Red. So that was the start of my flying with Qantas.